the KMNN studios, this is the Kids Morning News Network. Good morning, friends. It's June 28th, 2024, and I'm Alex in the KMNN studio in New York. Happy Paul Bunyan Day. You know Paul Bunyan, the giant lumberjack from the North Woods who has a blue ox named Babe. Early tales of Paul Bunyan from the early 1900s say he was seven feet tall. Or maybe it was eight feet. And he weighed around 300 pounds. Maybe it was 400. Also, Babe may not have been a blue ox. She may have been pink. Actually, there are a lot of different stories about old Paul. Seems like a lot of people disagreed on the details. He may have been based on a real logger, or maybe not. According to the Ojibwe people in northern Minnesota, when Paul showed up to cut trees in their forest, one of their heroes fought him for three days, then slapped him with a giant walleye, that's a fish, and knocked Paul Bunyan right on his behind so hard that the imprint of his backside made two lakes. Well, I can't tell you what's true or not about Paul Bunyan, but he does show up in a lot of good stories, and I love stories. So happy Paul Bunyan Day. A panda pair is on its way from China to the United States. They are the first pandas to enter the U.S. in 21 years. The pair is coming to America as a gesture of friendship from China. At one point, there were pandas at several zoos around the U.S., but in recent years, China has called them all home, leaving Atlanta as the only panda palace in the nation. And those pandas already have a return ticket to China later this year. The panda party won't kick off in San Diego right away, though. They'll have a few weeks to settle in before they'll be available for visitors to see. The National Zoo in Washington, D.C. and the San Francisco Zoo are also scheduled to receive new pandas soon. On Wednesday, we talked about how the moon up there in the sky makes the Earth spin slower. Well, today, I want to talk about how the Earth's core, far down below our feet, is slowing down and may also be slowing down the rest of the Earth. Scientists started tracking the movement of the core about 40 years ago. The core, well, the inner core really, is a huge chunk of solid metal at the very center of the Earth. It's about 3,000 miles under the surface. Coincidentally, it's about the same size as the moon. It's surrounded by the outer core, which is melted metal, and then the mantle, which is melted rock, and then the crust, which is very thin, and that's where we live. So imagine you have a basketball, that's the crust, filled with two different layers of melted chocolate, and the core is this golf ball in the middle. Because the outer core is all melted, the inner core can spin at a different rate than everything else, and it does. For the first 26 years scientists watched it, the inner core went a little faster than the layers around it. But starting around 2010, it slowed down. Scientists say if it keeps slowing down, its gravitational pull could slow down the spinning of the other layers and the Earth itself. And that would give you more time in the day. Barely, you figure it'll be in the thousandths of a second. No one can really say why the inner core is slowing down. It may be a regular cycle that we haven't been watching long enough to see before. But if summer vacation this year seems a thousandth of a second longer, now you know why. It's riddle time. Wednesday's riddle was... I have many teeth, but I can't bite. What am I? The answer, a comb. On this day, June 28th, 1911, Mars attacked us. Well, not really, but a meteorite from Mars landed here on Earth, 
called the Nakla meteorite, the approximately 22 pound Mars rock exploded in the air before landing in Egypt. It hit the ground so hard that some pieces were three feet deep. Scientists believe that this meteorite was blasted off the surface of Mars by another meteorite. Then it sailed through the solar system and fell to Earth. Close examination of the meteorite has raised some interesting possibilities about water and even life on Mars in the past. No word yet on whether or not we're going to blast it back to Mars one of these days, but they haven't asked for it back yet. Looks like there will be some rain today in the southeast, the Great Lakes, and along the high line of Montana into North Dakota. Hot again in the southern plains and in the southwest deserts. Temperatures other places should be pretty normal, though it'll be kind of cool in the northwest. Well, that's this Friday show. Thank you very much for listening. If you like this episode and you don't want to miss the next one, please subscribe to the Kids Morning News Network. I'll be off next week, but I will be back on Monday, July 8th. And I hope you are too, because I'm looking forward to spending the summer with you. From the KMNN Newsroom, this is Alex, signing off.